All right, engineering challenge number three. You guys are going to design and create your own pom-pom drop. So for this activity, you will need a pom-pom. Again, if you don't have them, I'm going to make these available at the school as well. And you are going to create a way for a pom-pom to travel along a certain path through, if you have um, paper, you can roll it up or use paper towel tubes or toilet paper tubes or anything in that similar kind of area that you can create um, in order to make a pom-pom drop. Now what you're gonna do is you can either make it on a baking sheet or what's really fun and then you can go really crazy is you can make it on the wall of your house. Um, if you make it on the wall, you can make it as big as you want to. If you make it on a tray, it has to be a little bit smaller. So it really is depending on how much time you have, how creative you wanna be and how really excited you are about this project. You can create smaller pom-pom drops and then create bigger ones and see was one easier, was one harder, did your pom-pom work? Did it go through the drop the entire way? Um, again, you know, whatever you want to do. You guys are the thinkers, the creators, and the builders. So for my pom-pom drop, I used a combination of toilet paper tubes and paper that I rolled up into a tube. I also used a baking tray because since I'm showing you guys on the computer, I didn't really have the whole wall to build with, so I had to kind of make a smaller version. But I know you guys are going to make such a better one because mine is just kind of a C. It's a little boring, but um, it does work, I think. Um, so what you're gonna do is I took, like I said, a combination of toilet paper tubes and paper that I rolled up, and I made a path for the pom-pom to travel through. Now what'll happen is I will drop it in on the top and hopefully it will travel through, travel into this tube, travel into this tube, into this tube, and then it should land down on the table. Now the goal is to make sure all of the tubes are somewhat connected because very easily the pom-pom can escape. And I actually had some trouble, even this very simple design that you would think is so easy, I had to rebuild and rethink quite a few times because when I dropped it on one end, it would pop out the other and the cardboard tube, it wouldn't catch the pom-pom. So you have to make sure it really, you have to test out each part as it goes because like I said, I had to redesign a few times even this very simple design. So let's see what happens. So I'm gonna drop it in and hopefully we're gonna see it go all the way through and come out at the bottom. Oh, if I could actually get it in, that would be helpful. Here we go. Ta-da! It came through, very good. So it travels through, falls all the way down, and down the slide, there it goes, and it actually went on the floor. So again, I want you guys to be creative. You can either do it on a baking tray like I did, or you can do it on the whole wall of one of your rooms. You can make it really big. Um, if you don't have a ton of paper towel tubes or toilet paper tubes, like I said, if you roll up some construction paper or just copy paper, it works really well. Um, just make sure that it's rolled um, in a way that there's no like bends or kind of creases because that might catch the pom-pom. And have a lot of fun. Um, you are probably going to need some tape for this, so make sure you have that. And I hope that your pom-pom can get from one side to the next and you have a ton of fun. And see if people in your house, if they come up with the same ideas, if they have different ideas, if maybe you can have an engineering challenge in your house where maybe you can build one and daddy can build one and mommy can build one and whoever, and then you race it and you see who's actually works. So have fun, have a great time, think, be creative, and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. All right, so we'll be back for another activity in just a few minutes. And Let's keep this creative train going. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Bye.